guys, my name is Elena, I am a graphic designer and welcome to my channel for beginners in Adobe Illustrator and in a graphic design. I know you feel that now is coming one of the most magical time of the year and it's Christmas time and New Year's time. And you maybe already have been starting to prepare gifts to your beloved ones and meanwhile you are thinking about gifts for your family and friends. Let's draw together this classical gift with a red bow. And the main tool in this tutorial will be gradient mesh. From the left side you see uh, the design without gradient mesh and from the right side you see design with gradient mesh. I think it's very pretty and realistic. Ok guys, let's start our tutorial. We need this color and rectangle tool and hold shift and let's draw this square. Now let's draw this rectangle and let's make it a little smaller like this and a little down. Ok, a little smaller here, now a little down like this, select all shapes and align it. Now again rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle here, select direct selection and this anchor point here and this anchor point here like this okay now a little down like this yes i like it now select this square radial gradient here this color here this color and here this now select select gradient tool and a little play this uh the gradient like this now select this rectangle black and white gradient radial here this gray and here these and here these again rectangle tool and play this rectangle okay like this let's move the slider okay now select this shape and liner gradient, delete, the, delete this color and here 90 and move slider like this. Ok. Now select red color and rectangle tool and draw like this ok now select pen tool and let's draw our ribbon here ok I like it now select this ribbon and here radial gradient 90 and we need to add colors to our gradient here this 
Okay, here these and here these one. Now these again these here. Okay, let's move the slider. Okay. Now select this rectangle, copy and paste it, bring backward, copy a little down, select this color. Now opacity multiply, select this more lighter gray, effect, blur, Gaussian blur, and here five okay and now copy and paste this rectangle bring to front select this shadow and make clipping mask now select these shapes and now we need to bring these shapes to front okay that's good. Now select this ribbon and select this gradient here 90. And now we need to delete colors, delete these and delete this color. Uh, let's move our slider like this. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to delete this color. And here, let's move slider like this. Okay. Now, we need to round it this corner. Select this and this anchor with help of direct selection and a little rounded our corners. Now, this shadow we need to lock here. Select this and lock it. Now select this and these anchors, uh, corners and round them. Okay, now copy and paste twice this shape. And one of the, mo of the copies move a little up like this. Now select both copies and exclude. Now ungroup and we need to delete unnecessary part. So unselect our necessary part and delete this. Okay. Now select this part, this gray color. Okay, I like it. Now select effect, blur, Gaussian blur and 5. Okay. Now we need to bring this to front and opacity multiply okay now select this rectangle copy and paste it and bring to front now select our shadow and rectangle and make living mask okay now we need to create uh, a shadow select ellipse tool Hold shift and create this round black and white gradient, radial, radial and here we need this color. Okay. And reverse it. Now select selection tool and make it thinner. Send to back and opacity multiply. And now let's play with our shadow.
Okay, I think it's good. Now let's draw our bow. I found this photo on the Shutterstock. Link will be under this video. Now we need to move this here and select Pen tool. Select red color. Or for a while any color. And let's draw. Uh, you don't have to, to draw the same shape, shape like on the photo. It's just uh, help you to understood how the shape of the bow mast looks like. And of course you can draw by the hand, for example, your own bow, or you can select other photo. So I selected this photo. We need here just the shape of the bow. I think it's good. Now let's draw this part. Okay, let's look closer, select this part and smooth tool and here we need to make more smoother. Okay, let's look, yes, now you can uh, move this shape here or you can just delete this photo. Now we need a rounded rectangle tool with these options. Okay. Now move it here. Here a little smooth our bow. Okay, now select this shape, select add anchor point tool, add here and this point down and add here and this point up. Now select this shape and these points to the right and this to the left and these points to the right. Okay. Now let's draw the ribbon here with an rectangle tool of uh, this shape. Okay, let's move it here. Now select this point and move here and this point and move here. Now add point here and move a little up like this. Now select the shape and stroke to fill and this point a little like this and warp and flag. And here I select these options. You can select uh, your own options. Object, expand appearance. Okay, now select this and fill to stro a stroke to fill. Here the same stroke to fill and here let's select our color and delete the stroke. Okay, now let's put our ribbon here. Okay, and bring to front. 
let's move and make more fatter our ribbon let's make it smaller and again fatter and like this now select all shapes make them bigger and put them here okay now let's add colors to our bow create gradient mesh here four sorry here six here four and now let's add colors you need to add color straight to the point like this and now i'm going to play with gradient mesh to add more realistic view our bow Okay, I like this side, this zigzag. Now let's work with uh, this side. gradient mesh not very easy tool but for me it's one of the most important tools uh, in Adobe Illustrator okay we need to log this shape here and let's continue our work and I think that uh, gradient mesh, um, with help of gradient mesh, you can create very realistic and interesting designs. Every time you need to add new lines to see how realistic your object and you need to see what color you need to add, what shape you need to move. Uh, all shapes here must be smooth, soft, it's the point of this tool. Okay, let's look. Now add here this line and here this color. 
you see now our bow more realistic now select this shape and let's add this color in these points okay and here you need to be sure that here we have this red color okay and now let's move this a little up more up okay like this uh-huh now let's add here one more line and a little up these points let's look yes now i like it okay now select this shape black and white gradient and here 90 okay let's add here the darkest this the darkest red color and here red okay now let's work with this shape but don't forget unlock it create gradient mesh here four and here four and let's play with the gradient mesh Okay, now let's add color to our ribbon the same way with the help of gradient mesh. And now let's play with our ribbon.
Okay, let's look. Now let's select our ribbon and move it a little. Like this. And in this place. Select and a little. Move it like this. Now let's continue to play with our gradient mesh. Okay, let's look, let's add here one more line and here one more mm -hmm. and let's select this color and add it here and here. Okay, I like it more. Now select this and copy and paste it and bring to backward and move a little down select this gray color and opacity multiply effect blur gaussian blur and five okay now select this and the same copy and paste it send to backward select this color and a little down opacity multiply and now select this shape and direct selection tool and this anchor a little up like this now select our shadow and gaussian blur okay now copy and paste this shape and send to backward a little down this color opacity multiply effect blur gaussian blur okay a little down this shape okay i like it now select these shapes and group them now transform reflect vertical copy and move this here okay let's look now a little move this shape here and select both shapes and align them okay now let's look yes i like it now select this and make a little smaller and a little up now select this and ungroup it select our ribbon and a little play with our ribbon the same here ungroup select the ribbon and a little down and a little turn it and like this okay now here we need to add this color i think it will be better okay now select these shapes and group and these shapes and group and now let's play with these shapes those shapes and turn them and move them i turn them and move them as i like you can do it as you like so i think it's not bad you can make select these shapes and move them to the center 
like this. Let's look. And sorry, I forgot about these shadows. Move them the same and turn them. Okay, like this. Yes, I think the bow is good. Now select rectangle tool and any color, for example this, and hold shift and draw this square and center back. Now move like this or like you want. Select this rectangle or square and select radial gradient, uh, black and white radial gradient. Now here uh, where black we need this color. Okay. And here where red we need red color okay now select gradient tool and make this round a little wider and a little down okay guys let's look yep i think our gift with red bow is ready Okay guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator and in the next videos about a graphic design. Bye bye guys. Mwah.